you're out until 2 o'clock in the morning, and you've been bar hopping. Short tempers after a long night out. You say we got into a heated argument while heading home. He hits my shoulder. I say, please don't touch me. I don't want to be touched. Please do not touch me. Get your hands off me. It's all very nasty. I go like this to move, to block. My hand connects with, like, this part of his face. He says that you punched him in the face. I know I won't have all of the facts perfectly, but I'm going to try to set the stage of this story so that we can put it in context of what you both want. So I suggest you pay attention to what I'm saying, not look at anything else. You were a couple for a while. You went out for an evening, and you went out for an evening, and that was on July 29th of 2018. You were driving, mm -hmm. and you drove with him. There was nobody else in the car, either going or coming. Is that correct? Um, that's incorrect. Who else was in the car? Her name is, uh, Yolanda. So you went with somebody else who was in the back passenger seat? Yes, Brisha was next so to So it me. didn't happen on... Did it happen on the 28th or the 29th? The event prior was the 28th. My arrest was the 29th. Got it. Excuse on me. what? Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but I also want to just make this clear. We were not a couple at the time of the incident. Just friends? Yeah. Absolutely. Fine. Not easy to do. No. You went out for an evening, and the evening was either, I don't care, the 28th or the 29th. And according to both of you, the arrangement was that you would leave this bar that you went to with friends by 1 a.m. because you had an early morning appointment. That's right. That's true. I had an interview. So far correct? Yes. And then the friend that had come with you didn't want to leave or disappeared. You were looking for her. Mm -hmm. And that took a little time, so you didn't leave until when you finally found her. She said, ah, I found something interesting here. I think I'm going to stay for a while. Yes. Not exactly true. No? Not Go exactly ahead. true. That isn't the exact reason why we left so late. Why did you leave late? We left so late because he was still drinking with the other friends that we went out with. And I had asked him to leave earlier about three times. And even though he said we would leave, we continued to go around bar hopping. And that is, yes, on my part, partly my fault. Yes. Because I didn't demand him to leave. At the same time, I came in with him. I didn't have another ride. I should have called, like, an Uber or a Lyft yeah, to take it back home. But you stayed. Yes. And continued to socialize. Not really. No. OK. <laughs> anyway, you got but into yeah. the car to go home, and you had an argument. And the argument was about the fact that you stayed late. Yes. Is that what the argument was about? I was disappointed, yes. You were complaining that you stayed late. He was driving. Yeah. Now, so I want you to tell me exactly you're telling him you're annoyed. He says to you, what happened next? He starts saying, well, it's not my fault that we didn't leave. I understand. I was trying to get her. I should have just left. Okay. I tell him, yeah, but you didn't just leave. So he starts saying... So he said... He starts saying, you're calling me worthless. You're calling me a worthless man. You're calling me just a worthless a second. man. Just a second. We hopped from we should have left earlier mm -hmm. to him saying to you, you're calling me a worthless man. Yeah. What did you say to him? I told him, I'm not calling you a worthless man, but I'm saying that I'm disappointed that we didn't leave earlier. You well, had made a promise goes, to leave. Just a second. Mm-hmm. We don't go from, you made a promise to leave, then you're calling me a worthless man. Because I never said that. What did you say? I told I him I'm disappointed that you didn't leave when you said that, you were, that we were going to leave. And he said, you're calling me an, a worthless man. Mm -hmm. OK. I, I know you want me to believe that. It's a leap that I'm not here prepared to make. OK. You're calling me a worthless man, and then what happened? So he's gesturing with his hands. He talks no, he a lot with his this. hands. He can't do this with both hands because... Well, we hadn't started just... driving yet. We're still parked. We hadn't started driving yet. Oh, so you had this argument when you were in the car. Absolutely. 